Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows Longhorn Build 4008. Now, this is a 2003 milestone for release of Windows Longhorn, obviously pre-reset, I believe. And I'm taking a look at this build because, one, it's almost exactly 20 years old. Um, you know, February 20th, roughly, is the day it came out. And, you know, it's March, so relatively respectable to look at. But also because it, it re really resembles Windows XP while also introducing that kind of the element of the unknown that later versions of Longhorn and Vista brought. Okay, now off camera, I have had a lot of trouble getting into the BIOS to change the date. Um, I don't know why it's not working. Um, I have tried escape. You know, it's been painful. Um, but we're going to just go ahead and hope that this isn't time bombed. Um, in my testing, I did set the date to 2003. Um, same date as today. I just changed the, you know, the year. So, you know, I'm hoping that the time bomb isn't going to affect too much um, because I literally, it's booting too quick. I can't even get into the BIOS. So now let me grab this product key. In case you're installing this, this is the key that I found that works. Except... Uh, we're not going to click on partition zero. We're going to click on disk zero format using NTFS and that's it That is all the installer options that you get. It's going to run through this now One thing I do want to point out is that I really do like this user interface. It looks It looks nice compared to the Windows XP installer, which was you know that blue text based screen This is progress. I like this a lot. It looks clean. I like the white Windows logo. Um, it just looks really nice overall one thing that we'll notice and that we already saw already that I didn't point out is that it has the Windows XP professional boot up screen. So this has not changed from Windows XP to this point. Remember, Windows XP had came out like a year and a half prior, if my math is correct, to this build of Longhorn. So this is very early after XP. All right, and here we are in the Windows setup. We're just gonna go ahead and create account Windows for now. Um, obviously, this looks very beta, very interesting, um, but you did see the option to create more than one account, which I believe, yeah, that was taken out of Windows Vista. Look at this login screen, though. It's like silver and white and blue with the time up there. It's very interesting. Now, let's see if I can change the resolution. Uh, one thing that I noticed right off the bat is the amount of stuff that popped up first, but also I don't like this sidebar. Like, it's in my way. It, it's really... I'm not really enjoying it. Okay, that's a little better. My mouse sensitivity is still super high, but that's okay. And here we are. So first off the bat, two things popped up. The network wizard and the new hardware wizard. New hardware, okay, 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 I get it, okay. Can you please just go away? I get it, okay. Literally everything is coming up right now. It wants me to install drivers for everything. All right, we're just going to leave that there. Um, the sidebar appears to be glitching out. Um, I'm not sure how to fix that. Can we like bring the widgets up top? Oh wow, that, that's really nice. Okay, so I guess we're not going to look at the widget bar. Just off the bat, take a look at this desktop with the exception of the found new hardware wizard. Um, I like the blue taskbar. I really wish this was a theme for Windows XP, like the seamless start button. It looks great. I like it. Uh, we have the Windows XP recycle bin up there. Um, going into start, we can see this looks pretty much very similar to Windows XP, except obviously it's blue. It looks a little bit rethemed, you know, my contacts, I don't recall that being a part of Windows XP. And even in there, we can see the Windows 7 arrow theme kind of showing through, or the Windows Vista, rather, with the blues, the greens, that kind of theme. Uh, Built-in games, we do have all the Windows XP stuff, including 3D Pinball, which was a favorite back in the day, um, as well as the internet checkers and internet stuff that no longer works. So taking a look in Winver right now, I don't know how I open that. Um, Winver, see, all right, Longhorn Professional, blah, 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 6.0, whatever. Okay, let's take a look at the File Explorer, and then we're pretty much done, because that's really everything in this OS. Um, oh, that's the sidebar, I just realized that. Um, okay, so this is different. So I like the blue up here, I like the fact that the text is centered, and I like the way they divided this between libraries, hard disks, um, come on, let me go back. Uh, removable storage and stored files. And the filter. I mean, this looks weird. I'm not sure how functional it would be in practical day-to-day -day usage, but it's there. It looks interesting, and it looks like it would work relatively fine. Look at the gradient in this menu. And look, even you hover over it, you can see the little dots that show up. Not sure if that was intentional or not, but I like it. Folders. Oh, this is cool. 
I feel like this would definitely take a little bit to get used to, but once you would get used to this, I feel like it would be extremely functional, like, you know, to be able to use it. But uh, yeah, I really want to take a look at the sidebar because that's something that Windows XP did not bring in. Oh, look at that green. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah, that's something I wanted to take a look at, but you know, obviously it's glitching out right now. I mean, we can we can see the image slideshow though. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe. I'm not sure what's going on, and like. Um, even switch back to the Windows XP theme, and everything just goes back to normal. But let's go back with the Windows Longhorn Plex theme.